Uh, hey, hey everybody, everybody. Whew. welcome to another uh live stream of training and see this is kind of like the uh, our summer extra extravaganza giveaway today yeah extra drams aganza Ex dr drama dramaganza dramageddon dramageddon <laughs> no that yeah what was that drum Dram Demic. Dram Demic. Dram Demic, yeah. yeah. Dram Demic, too. Uh, welcome, everybody. We have a few people already on. A few people excited for the giveaways. Um, we got a lot of good stuff today, too. We do. Let's see who's on there. We don't know you're there unless you say hello. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so if you're going to comment or if you're there, feel free to comment. So we should uh, mention right off the bat that this is a giveaway for our patreons yeah uh only so hopefully if you're you're a patron you're gonna get uh entered a few times there's a lot, quite a few prizes that you have a chance to win you have two chances to win so you can win twice we're limiting it yeah to two prizes per person kind yeah. of thing yeah um because we don't want one person to walk away with everything right uh and maybe uh, maybe nobody will win twice. Maybe it'll, they'll all go to different separate homes. I kind of hope so. Yeah. That'd be nice. So this is, uh, we're doing it on the, the regular live YouTube channel just to hopefully promote more people joining the Patreon page and, uh, mm -hmm. uh, doing them as minimum as a dollar a month. Yeah. And what, um, what you get for a dollar is you get, you get one, one number into the draw where, yeah. Obviously, you put five dollars in, you get five entries. You do, if you're a ten dollar Patreon, you get ten entries. Yeah, and then the Dram Clubbers get twenty entries. Yeah, so that's a lot. Um, and that I mean, the people that pay the most have the better odds. I mean, that's just that's if, if you buy more lotto tickets, you get better odds. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, so let's show some of the stuff we have for tonight. Sure. Um, we'll start with in, the, with the in uh, no particular order. We, we've got uh, <laughs> oh, crappiest first. Got it. <laughs> we'll go with crappiest first. We've got some training and see coasters here that we will sign uh, to whoever wins and write or something. not. I don't know. Or you don't. If you don't want our signature, that's fine too. We get it. Do we have signatures? Well, I mean, I'm, I have my signature. I just put a C. Yeah, I guess I'd have to find a way to write training. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then the classic uh, Doctor Dawn flavor wheel here. These are so handy. Um, right. Very cool. Give away a few of those. Then, um, this is very cool. This is four mystery drams. Mm. So there are four two ounce bottles of whiskey in here and you guys are not going to know what's in them. They are high quality drams, all of them. Yes, that's right. Um, let's see here. We've got the wonderful Emily Mercedes painting so this first one here is the uh oh that's it what are you oh. trump with the bible <laughs> so we got the uh bullet bourbon hand drawn beautiful looks great and then the uh the pappy collection. the pappy lineup that looks awesome it's too. Not hand drawn so we've it's hand painted hand painted so we've got it's kind of a similar thing but this has that. the extra sixth bottle this has the rye in it okay um and then we have Davin de Caragomo's Definitive Guide to Canadian Distilleries. This thing's all over Instagram right now. People are uh, finally getting their deliveries of the, uh, yeah, the Definitive Guide. So it's this a, is the new one. That right? is the fall. That's the follow up to the new Portable Expert. Yeah, which so, you can buy this one too if you want. But this one we're giving away, and it's yeah. the brand new version. So very cool. And then last but not least. I mean, there might be a couple other things we can we'll probably give there. away a bunch of coasters. Just... Yeah, but this is kind of the grand prize, and this is the uh, Shelter Point um, Artisanal Signal Malt Whiskey, forty-six percent, blah dee dee blah blah blah. But this is very cool, from... amazing stuff. Um, this one, it's I like that sunsets and sea air are the uh, unofficial ingredients in every. Yeah, bottle. yeah, of course they are, and it is non-chill filtered. And no color added. Wow. So a lot uh, of good things. Very au natural. Yeah. So for the meantime, I think we should probably pour ourselves a dram here mm -hmm. and ask what everyone's drinking tonight. Well, we were supposed to say hello and then we never oh, did. Oh, yeah. Let's say hello. Okay. Joshua Asplund is here. Uh, Puffs and Drams is here. Jason Coates, Mike Cassera, Matt Floyd, 
AS, which is Amir, Tim Dietrich, uh, Rylan Maschak is here. Uh, who else? There's a couple other. Oh, I might have just screwed that up. I see Skippy Van Pob is here. I see Christine Daisy is here. The Beer Baron Doe is in the hills. Beer Baron Doe, wow. I haven't seen you for a while. Uh, I'm here. Yeah. That's cool. Moose 76, The Electric Banana. I love that name. It's so good. Oh, Vegas Arts here. Yeah. And I think I'm like back to the top or something. AS? You said AS? Yeah. That's Amir. Amir, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to get back down to the most recent current. Oh, Blue Ribbons is here. Good. Excellent. Okay. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. Yes. Uh, Moose 76, tonight is a good night. Double plaid. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the way to do yeah. it. Brown plaid, yeah. too. Look at this. Wow. Good. Coordination. Okay. Uh, what are we pouring? Let's pour. I, I was thinking we should pour um, a little bit of this IW Harper 15. Look at that bottle. It looks like just the classic, like, uh, what do you call decanter. it? Uh, decanter style bottle. Um, so while you're doing 43%. That, well, you're in, by the way. Yeah. Um, so that's 43%, 15 years old, and it's always a uh, natural color and natural uh, flavor. In you know so that's great. Um, yeah. So what's happening is that each of the patrons. Uh, I emailed you all yesterday your numbers for the draw. So if you um, are wondering how this works, you need to open your email and you need to look at the email I sent you and it will have your magical number or numbers in there. We also have those numbers on a spreadsheet. Yes, we're very technical. Uh, and um, I'm going to pull that spreadsheet up now so that we know who the winner is as soon as you're a winner. Oh so, man, so I haven't, this is basically my first bourbon tonight. Yeah. I mean, we haven't really had much to drink tonight, but no. I've been dabbling. Yeah. Um, and well, why not? What a nose on this guy. Have you guys oh, tried thanks. the IW 15? Have you guys tried this one before? Because IW hard for 15, I should say, not just IW. <laughs> But it's really uh, nice yeah. and musty and dusty, but there's like a, a really underlying kind of like sh cherry uh, sweetness to it. I like press download on this spreadsheet and then it just like doesn't do anything. Cool. Cool. Mm. Do you want oh, to that's good. download? Yes. Download. Yeah. No. No, we're not, not doing it. We're not doing it. Try, do try it again. On, what if I do it on this thing? Oh god! Okay, Here I might go. screw this, this, this all up. This is where the whole thing goes to hell. It wouldn't be trending and see if we didn't f the whole thing up, right? Oh, it's oh, right there. there. Look at that. Perfect. Huh. Okay, so as Look long as they can still see us. Then we... Okay. Um, okay. So we have everybody's numbers. You have your own numbers, and then we go to my phone. And what we do is we go to the randomizer app. Uh, where is it? My kids have been downloading. Uh, kids video games did we say hello to matt floyd already i can't remember richie z's here yeah 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 oh pretty yeah, yeah. random this is it okay. we said skippy van yes oh <laughs> <laughs> i'm so angry okay can we how do you scroll uh oh this thing over here can also use two fingers usually. Okay, so okay, so we have numbers between the minimum is number one, and the maximum is two hundred and seventy-six. So there are two hundred and seventy-six potential numbers in play here. Wow. So what I do is, what I do is, oh wow, Glary this McLaren. Is just, this is just an example. This obviously. is an example. So what I do is, I'm not. I think I can. I can. I'm not even going to do it this time. I'm not going to do it until it's the real time. So you can see the number is zero right there. And then it says one and 276 at the bottom. So as soon as I click that button, it's going to choose a number. And whatever that number is, whoever's got that number. Uh, oh, 277. Is it between 277? Oh, God. I can't even get this right. I've got 276 here. Why? Does someone have 277? <laughs> 
couldn't have screwed they, this well, up already. If they said 277, that's probably Chris, that guy. Chris Beaton. Yeah. You don't have number 277, you tricky bastard. Okay. And then when I click randomize, it's going to pick a number. And whoever's number that is, you win the prize. So let's give something crappy away first. Remember, you can only win twice. So if <laughs> We you, mean super good. It's Nothing's crappy. Yeah, no, they're great. They're great. Um, so if you win this crappy thing first, you can only – if you win two crappy things, then you're out. You're just stuck with two crappy things. How are we going to record who wins the stuff? Like, uh, I'll do it in my notes. Mad. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll do it in my notes on my phone. Okay. Um, here we go. Oh, the other thing that we are giving away that we forgot to mention is um, we did just order – New coins, new whiskey coins, new new hats. Oh, yeah. So the really here. Um, oh, batch three. So we were gonna give away a a free um a presale for a coin, like a free coin. Oh, you got some there. Well, these are our old ones. Yeah. So this is our first two batches. This is the first one that we put out. It's the classic. It's ceramic and it's very pretty. The and that's poker number chip. One, I'm guessing. Yep, chip number one. Bat batch one. Chip one of Trenny and C, right there. So then the the second one that came out, which was just a, a super high tech lightning bolt of oh. an idea for us. Years was ahead a, was a uh, beer opener. We're way ahead of our of our time here, really. And so again, these ones are all sold out. Look at this. But, but yeah, you just like that. You just open your beer up like that laser etched oh man oh you're probably they getting blinded beautiful. right now they look uh beautiful. enamel paint uh some kind of real high-tech metally dealios anyway these are the originals so coming up is going to be our third yeah round and this one is um very specifically collectible i would yeah. say oh, it's, uh, um, limited to 100 yes. just like these first two batches so we will be giving away one of those tonight yeah um so let's one. start let's just do it right off the bat i'm gonna set a crappy coaster a set we're gonna give away four set. let's do four set of four set of four okay oh, no, there's a whole holy. bunch more up there holy let's maybe make a couple of people have coasters okay let's give away a couple sets of four okay here's our first set of four Crappy uh, coasters. No, perfect coasters. We will sign them. <laughs> this is a warm up. We'll sign. We'll sign them. We'll even sign them. Okay. Okay. So you have to be once again just to reiterate the rules. You have to be somebody that gives to Patreon. That's right. Okay. So, so you already have your numbers. Promoting the fact that after this you will join Patreon. Yeah, if you're not already. a patron, you should become a patron because. Uh, uh, you know, we've given away a lot of cool bottles and shit. We gave away a Weller. We gave away Ardbeg. Yeah, we gave away single barrel uh, Buffalo Traces. Uh, we give away Bareface. All kinds of stuff. Okay. So the first sucker uh, is going to win these coasters. Here we go. Randomize. 207. Number okay. 207. Coasters for 207. Make let's, yourself heard. Let's <laughs> check the spreadsheet. Well, let's see if anybody can identify themselves first. Yes. And we'll go to the sheet here. Uh, I know who the winner is. Okay. Tell me the name. The well, winner wait. is. Wait till they say it, maybe. I haven't seen the person on here yet. So, uh, Quinn Palmer. Quinn? Quinn Palmer. Palmer and set they of coasters. Set of coasters. Super crummy set of coasters. Sorry about that. You can only win one more time, Quinn. So if you win the next set of coasters, <laughs> you're so screwed. <laughs> well, you get oh, eight man. of them. They make great Christmas gifts. All the if we make it to Christmas. No. Okay, 2020 has been a little bit of a shit show. Yeah, the aliens are next. Yeah, meteor after that. So okay. let's give away something. Uh, something uh, kind of half decent. Should we give away a uh, flavor wheel? Let's do sure, a flavor let's do wheel. Let's flavor. just jump around let's, a little let's bit. Let's just jump to a flavor wheel. Dr. Let's, Don's let's flavor take, wheel. Let's take them care of. So we've got two of these to give up, but we're going to give one away right now. We can give away tons of these. Dr. Don gave us tons of these. Oh, we do we have a bunch? Okay, good. Yeah. Let's so do a, let's a flavor do, wheel. Let's do two it. flavor wheels right now. Like two, sure. win, two different winners. Two different winners. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So this first flavor wheel, by the way, if you haven't seen these, these are really, really helpful and handy. Uh, There's all kinds of words that you can't understand and yeah like uh, spell or spell or like cask and then caramel maple it's actually what you're tasting is the cyclotinine 
Yeah. Just so you know. I've used that before. Okay. You want a flavor wheel? Or don't. Number four. Number four. Oh. Make yourself heard. Who's number four? I think if somebody wins the same exact prize, they can reject it and we'll keep them yeah, in the, it's we'll like keep a them in the game. Santa where they hand away their gift. Number four, flavor wheel is going to I want to say I think that's a mirror. Uh, number four is Amir. He has numbers one through twenty. So Amir, Amir uh, just put Amir. Uh, just put Amir. Amir. I know. I'll it. Put S after. Some yeah, S. Amir S uh, for a flavor wheel. Okay, congratulations. That's definitely a step up from trending C coasters. <laughs> and let's do another flavor wheel. Okay. Let's see who gets the next flavor wheel. Wow, okay, good. We so, won't make you have another flavor wheel. In our here. second flavor wheel. Going away. to number 130. 130. 130. Another a flavor wheel is going to Liza. L-I-Z-A? Yeah, Liza. Flavor wheel. Congratulations on your flavor wheel, Liza. Wow, congrats. We we need like a, a round of applause thing that comes in. Yeah. Like, <sighs> maybe you just have to do that, I think. Yeah. Well, let's take a quick sip. Oh, a little mm. dram break. Mm. How's everybody doing tonight? A little body break. Body break. Oh. How is everyone doing? How's your quarantine? Are you I, still I quarantining? By the way, we've decided to not get political or anything like that. Yeah. To this evening because there's so much shit going on and you should take a break from looting and rioting <laughs> and just watch the show tonight so this is this is the idea like let's just uh have a good time no mm -hmm. politics it's mm -hmm. time to escape um all the crap that's going on yeah. in the world and let's just get shit faced together <laughs> yeah. red dragon so no barbers in canada eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah no 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 we've been shut down. i don't know if you've noticed but there's been a global <laughs> pandemic and <laughs> Barbers were not open, that's for sure. Oh my god, that's great. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's give away something really good. Like, um, let's give you, away... A should we taste our whiskey? Oh, super good. Well, I'm just thinking we're going to run out. We're going to be out of prizes instantly. Oh, we'll just keep giving away crappier stuff. <laughs> we'll just give away empty bottles with like one ounce left in them. Yeah. Um, let's do an Emily... Mercedes. Hey, this is for the bullet painting. lovers out there. I'm sure there's one Emily or two. Emily Mercedes. Uh, go ahead. Oh, quick plug. Go uh, ahead and uh, check out Emily Mercedes on Instagram and just follow yeah. her, please. Go on there and follow her real uh, quick like. And, and if you can, say Trenny and C sent you. Yeah. Yeah. Give us a plug to her. Maybe if you plug us to her, she'll probably give us more free stuff that we can send to you. Yeah, it's it's a really a win win situation. The cycle of life, right? So, um, please check out Emily Mercedes on Instagram and tell her that Trending C sent you. Okay, okay, here we go. This is the uh, bullet bourbon, bullet bourbon one, bullet bourbon painting. Here we go, and we are randomized, randomized. <laughs> Number fourteen, Number Amir 14 again. Amir, you're done for are the you night. Sure? Yeah, you're positive. Wow, because he had numbers one through twenty. You're done for the night. You did get a couple of victories. You won't. You won't be taking home the shelter point uh, tonight, Amir. But you have two prizes coming your way. That's really going to help us with shipping costs because we'll be able to ship them together. That's great. Um, so what did Amir get? He so got he a got the wheel flavor and wheel that. and that. So those will ship nicely together. Actually, actually, they probably <laughs> and fit they're perfectly. flat. Oh, oh my god, that, that is sad. meant to be Amir. Your package will be in the mail. That's great news for us. Um, okay. Very cool. So speaking of, uh, plugs, can we plug the fact that, um, if you could go on Instagram and follow at the whiskey explorer. Oh yeah. This guy has been a gem and our, we, we, uh, we've met him a, a couple times, but at the last whiskey festival there, we uh, met up with him at his table that he was representing for Buna Habin and Deanston and things like that. And boy, did he give us some insanely yeah. good treats there. We had the the uh, Deanston 40-year-old, mm -hmm. which and was incredible. And then the... Uh, the Palo Cortalo. Yeah, the Nelly Furtado, <laughs> whatever. The, 
I don't know if it's a celebrity whiskey, but yeah. it sounds a lot like it would be. <laughs> but so Mike Breezewa is the whiskey explorer. So follow him on Instagram. And also. he sponsored this month's Dram Club. And that means that Dram Clubbers for the month of June are getting Deanston 12 in the mail. They are getting Bunahaben Teotichara. And that is probably not how you say it, but that's a no. cool one. 46.3% no. natural yeah, color. All these are 46.3% except for one of them. Uh, the Buna 12, which is a, just a classic. I'm sure people who have had it before can't wait to have another dram. The Tobermory 12, which is very cool. So for Lecheg fans out there, that is the distillery where that's made on the Isle of Mall. And then a fifth bonus bottle, you're getting the black bottle uh, blended scotch as well. So it's a five bottle dram club this month because Mike uh, Brizwa sponsored us. So if you could check him out, um, at the Whiskey Explorer on Instagram and tell him that Trenny and C sent you so that he sends us more stuff that we can send to you too. That's how it works. That's how it works. We send the you to them. They send shit to us. We send it back to you. You always get everything. It's perfect. Totally. Okay. <clears throat> so let's... Uh, what are we giving away so far? So we've okay, given away... We should... Yeah, let's put some things, things away. Out that's, of the way. That's, that's been given away. That's been given away. Posters. These are given away uh so how how about um i'm gonna have a little i'm gonna give away sure. some whiskey in my face sure when do we want to do our mm. challenge coin our pre-sale well let's do well, let's uh, let's uh save a couple here i want to talk to you we got to talk you guys mm. what are you drinking tonight because tonight well we can drink whatever the hell we want it seems because mm. we got a lot of whiskey behind us and over there and over, mm -hmm. all over the place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but um what is kind of a, a good summertime dram going on right now oh or a, a good uh or summertime cocktail i actually Ooh, met we someone a, we should do a cocktail night i actually met someone unsolicited they, they didn't know who i was like from this perspective they knew who i was in real life yeah. but they didn't know who i am here yeah. uh my this is my real self here yeah um and they're like oh lately i've been making my own whiskey sours every oh. night and every like, night that's fucking and that's then i was like oh yeah how do you make that because i was waiting for like oh country time lemonade with yeah, yeah, yeah yeah they're like, like oh i've been going through like bushels of real lemons and like <laughs> and i was like do they come in bushels <laughs> i think that's how they grow <laughs> wow and um and they're like yeah i've been going through all these real lemons and like uh and real sugar yeah and they're like wow. oh and uh, and they're like and i do it with egg white and they're like i ordered one in the states and it didn't come with egg white and i'm like that's where i got to like kind of look cool i was like oh, that's because you got to order the boston sour yeah the boston the egg sour, white the egg the white boston the sour. so i actually got learned on them and uh yeah. straightened them up you know it's it's funny like so i uh during this quarantine thing me and my dad went and uh Helped one of his friends with something. I basically just stood around and mm -hmm. you're not crafty, super useless. Yeah. But anyway, uh, the guy, one of the the my dad's friend was asking me about whiskey, and there's like that fine line where you don't want to like be too knowledgeable, knowledgeable. Yeah. Because it just seems like you're kind of patronizing or like the nerdery. Comes the nerdery out. comes out. You're like, well, oh yeah, no, I had a really good. Uh, I like I like scotch, but I don't like whiskey or something. Right. Like, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, <laughs> you know. So he kind of just got kind of like, yeah, yeah, no, it's, they're they're both good. <laughs> so how did, is that what he said? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, He's like, I, I like scotch, but I don't really like whiskey. Yeah, you can. And I was like, well, you can lose people when even when you start talking about the grains. Yeah, right? yeah. It's like, well, actually, that's uh, well, and that's all I said. It's like, well, whiskey's like the umbrella word, and scotch is a whiskey in that umbrella. He's like, anyway. It's like anyway, <laughs> get get moving stuff. Like, go find yourself. <laughs> yeah. Can you please get, go get my wheelbarrow? Okay, um, hmm. that's done, huh? That finished quickly. There's a conversation going on about Talisker or something like that. Okay, people um, talking about whiskey and whatever. We're talking about whiskey. I don't know. We were having our own conversation here. Uh, Tyler Vidal, I hate Lafroy 10. My first dram, put it away for a few weeks, tried it again, fell in love with it. Yeah, classic. Yeah, do you know, like, the Lafroy 10? So, that's one that, uh, 
the frog tank. I mean, it's it's nice because it's well here it's forty percent. I know. I think in the states it might be forty three percent. They really said at different strengths. Oh, was that the one where we did the frog ten versus Ardbeg ten? Yeah, yeah. Um, we might have even done Lafroig, um, quarter cast versus. No, it's probably the tens. It was ten right. versus ten. Yeah, um, it is good, and it's got like for especially a new peat whiskey drinker, it's a, got a big punch to it. Mm. But after you get used to the idea of peat, then you also start to notice the forty percent aspect of it. Mm. So it, you know, it's they don't really always, sweet though too. It's yeah. I mean, I I quite like it, but uh, yeah, it's good. There's different Lafroigs that are better for sure. Um, okay, let's give some shit away. Okay, let's do another, let's uh... Let's do a, uh, Emily... The book. Let's do the book. The book. Okay. Let's do the book. Davin. Okay, what... what let's, I mean, and there's pictures in it for you guys that don't really care about reading. Or if you can't read... Yeah. Um, there are a lot of pictures in this book, so you can be like, oh, there's some whiskey. Yeah, it's great for the... And if you want more pictures of whiskey, go on Instagram and follow... Davin, probably if you just type in Davin, which is D-A-V-I-N, he'll come up. Yeah. There's probably not a lot of Davins. And Davin, duh, D-E, Kergamo. He gave us this book to give to but you guys. I think guys. His, his, his Instagram handle is just like Davin Deck or something it's like Davin that. It's Davin D, yeah. Maybe it's Deck, yeah. yeah. Something like that. So put in Davin D on Instagram and follow him and tell him that we sent you as well because then he'll give us more books that we can give to you. You're getting the trend here, right? Yeah. It's a um, vicious, vicious cycle. It's a vicious cycle of freeness. So anyway, these books are really amazing. Um, they basically tell you a blend of like history and reality and recipe and... Well, it, it's just nice too because a lot of people don't really think the focus on Canadian whiskey. Like, this mm -hmm. guy created the Canadian Whiskey Awards. Yeah. And it's only been around for like 10... 10 well, years. Yeah, 10 like... years, which is just insane if you think about how long Canadian whiskey's been a part of the history of whiskey in general. And the first award ceremony came out only 10 years ago yeah. by this guy. Yeah, <laughs> like he's a super nice guy and he knows what he's talking about, but it's just kind of interesting that it, it took that it long, took that long like, award. because people didn't, it wasn't, Canadian whiskey was never really sought after until, yeah. you know, relatively recently. Yeah. So, um, and for good reason, by the way, that for it, like for example, this is a Canadian whiskey technically, even though it behaves very much like a single malt scotch. That's right. So let's give away Davin's book to somebody. We will send this to you. If this is heavy, this is going to cost us a lot in shipping, okay? So if you're from the States, we might not. We, we no, might we will. We'll send it to America. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah, so yeah. cheap. He's so cheap. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Um, Amir, you're out of the competition at this point, though. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Yeah. Okay, here we go. I'm going to click it. So we... 114. 114. I was going to say get rid of the first 20 numbers on there. Yeah, well. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll do that next time. Did you say? I'm going to make it 21. 114. Okay, one. Who is? 114. Are you, guys... are you following along at home or are you keeping score? 114 is John Harden. John Harden. Harden. Congratulations, John Harden. This is probably, do we know? Does he comment very often? I don't recognize Depends that what his handle is. Yeah, I don't know. Because uh, I was going to say, uh, some some of these guys are going to be getting prizes in their mail. Like, oh, shit. I'm still subscribed to Training Z. I better, <laughs> yeah, I better cancel that. <laughs> I can't believe I've been giving them free money. I've been giving them, a, oh I gave them $12 this year, damn it. John Harden. John Harden. Well, uh, for all of your donations, book. hopefully it's around the price of a book. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> maybe even less. And maybe you're, maybe you're, uh, I don't know what this retails for. It's probably so, very, oh, here it is. This has a, this has a retail value of $32. So maybe if he's paid for 32 months and he's, he's worth listen, his weight in books. You better not cancel your subscription. Okay. <laughs> We got to pay plus shipping. This is going to be oh, like yeah, $50. Shipping, <laughs> <one. laughs> okay. Now we're just complaining. Yeah, we're just like, oh, we're never doing this again. We're not giving away anything. <laughs> okay, I'm, Let's I... do some more crappy coasters. Oh, let's do a couple crappy coasters here. So whoop, Let's whoop. even break one and give it to them. 
Just kidding. Rip one, <laughs> rip one in half. Just rip it in half and send it that way. No, um, you got to do four coasters. You yeah. can't give someone three. You can't do odd numbers on coasters, I don't think. There we go. Yeah, they don't accept well, we odd, could do numbers, odd numbers. numbers just to be annoying. Well, this one's super That gross. one's used. Let's this, keep it. Yeah, well, you're getting you guys it. Got a used one. It's a game used. <laughs> Okay, let's okay, see. So, okay, switch the numbers to being twenty-one to two seventy-six now. So Amir, we won't even we won't even upset you. Okay, crappy coasters are going to one eleven. Oh, oh, that, might, that be... might be John Harden again. You might be out. Let's see, one eleven. No, it's not him. You just missed it, Jeremy Holder. Oh, nice, Jeremy Holder. Crappy coasters, buddy. Probably already have some. <laughs> oh well, <laughs> Jeremy. Hold, are you writing this down? Yeah. Thank God. Oh wow, we need to take a quick break here. We have so much more, so many more prizes. All a lot of good stuff still left. Oh yeah, actually, the best prizes are coming up. Really, so don't forget. By now, you should have followed Emily Mercedes uh, on Instagram. You should follow uh, the Whiskey Explorer, Mike Brizwa. And you should uh, follow um, Davin de Kergamo, the uh, famous uh, Canadian whiskey author. And uh, uh, creator of the Whiskey Awards, yes. Canadian Whiskey Awards. Yes. Okay, crush a little bit of that. We're going to move on okay, to a new, new dram, dram here. Yeah. I'm going to pour some water in here to clear out the glass. That IW Harbor 15 is actually really effing good. That's really good. There's something like almost cocoa powder, like cocoa quick on like the finish. Mm. Yeah, that's good. Like the very last... Oh, oh, you just rinsed your glass too, eh? I did, yeah. <laughs> and you yeah. know Nestle Quick Powder? Yeah, I do. I don't like that. Yeah, I like the tin and you smell it's it. Kind yeah. Of. yeah. Um, so what are we going to have next? Do you guys have any requests? Let's drink some of this stuff that Mike Breezewa gave us. Oh, sure. How uh, much in 12 do we have? Or do you want to drink? Well, let's drink the Tobermory. Yeah, let's do some Tobermory. We have... Is there enough in there for us to have a... Yeah, a I'm, sure, I'm sure. I'm sure. Before Dram Club? Yeah. Hmm. Let's do it. So moving That's on. That's the great to thing some... about getting sponsored by somebody is we get to drink the leftovers. Yeah, absolutely. But that just shows like we are giving it all away to our Patreon. So for those who are on here right now this that is don't left. know about Dram Club, um, that's that's the remnants we get out of the bottle where we give the rest of it away. Um, so with Dram Club, you pay. I mean, it's 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 full right now, but it occasionally gets recycled. Yeah, there's um, current. It's been sold out for months now. But yeah, but basically, you pay uh, forty dollars a month, and you get four drams per month. Um, Usually, they are quite high quality or unique or rare or something. There's always know. a single malt in there, and there's always a usually, usually a bourbon or a Canadian or a world or something yeah. like that. Um, this month is there's five drams as we showed before, mm. so that's cool. And next month. We have a new sponsor for next month. Let's let's save that announcement. Okay. But we do have one. We do have one. So um, it's another another. I think it's gonna be fun. That's it's, that's a really cool one because it's kind of a, a breaking new ground for us. Yeah. Say actually, this is too because we haven't sure. really had too much in the world of like Scotland and Scotch whiskey um, helping us out. So that's really really cool. Mm. Okay. Uh, this is the Tobermory, twelve year old. 46.3% alcohol, non-chill filtered. I just got like a fruity and caramel oh, kind of. Yeah, it's like a toffee like, bomb in there. Yeah, it was like toffee and then fruit. This but is it like has, sticky toffee pudding and like cream. It's like kind of creamy too. And that 46 46.3 <laughs> <the> 46.3 <laughs> really comes out in like Sucker, a... Suck at that. <laughs> it's like sparkling in my nose, like just like almost like champagne bubbles. Wow, that's got a great nose to it. Like this is really, really. There's like, like a creamy, almost. A, there's a hint of like cocoa in there. I was going to say like fruit leather. Fruit leather too, for sure. Well, let's look at the flavor wheel for <laughs> to find out what it really tastes <laughs> oh, like. Oh, there's probably another. Okay, thing. so you're saying uh, fruit le is fruit leather on there? No, okay. Doctor Don wouldn't say, sink uh, that low. Okay, for, go to the fruit section. Fruity. Uh, apricot, apple, pineapple, banana, green apple, whiny, yeasty. Uh, what you're really smelling is acetaldehyde. Actually, oh, yeah, I was gonna say that. I, I was know. gonna say that. Yeah, turning and see request. Can you sing 
In Agata de Vida. No, we only sing our own songs that we make. But in Agata de Vida, we should, uh, we could somehow cover could that. Cover that, even though that song is what, like twelve minutes long or something. But we could do that. We could do the in first. Agata de Vida. <laughs> we could do the first thirty seconds of it, um, and then loop it for twelve minutes. 12 minutes. Um, is it autographed? Bill, yeah, we can autograph anything. Oh, well, the whiskey wheel is not autographed by Dr. Don. No, place. we're keeping that one. That's ours. Uh, but if you uh, want our pathetic little autographs, that's, that's fine. Turn in and see, do you have Eagle Rare in stock? I just poured that. Mm. Uh, do we have a bottle on the go? We definitely have some in our Keeper, our Keeper Wait to Open Later collection. We usually have some Eagle Rare in stock, but we also drink it pretty fast, too. I do not see any crime. Yeah, like, it would be shelves. over there if we had. Uh, no, it might be over here. <clears throat> <sighs> I don't know. I don't see it here, but uh, oh, this... no, it's it's, no. it's such a good one. Like, um, just recently, a friend was asking about a good bourbon to get for her husband's fortieth birthday, mm. and I suggested Eagle Rare. Yeah, like why not? It's still in the. Hot, like 50 higher 50 year yeah. range and then um it's higher strength alcohol it's, you, it's 10 years old even though it doesn't always say it anymore but good stuff <laughs> does the draminator always picks on you do you notice that? <laughs> no, i can't read i have terrible eyes so i can't see it from here <laughs> just one more thing for oh jesus pick. see what the how do we can we highlight these things yeah just click on it what did you do to your knee? It looks like did you have the gut shot grizzly with the <laughs> your hair. Your hair okay, it sounds like I gotta get a hat on tonight. <laughs> Don't listen to them, Trini. I'm getting Don't too listen many, to them. Too many uh barber com <laughs> comments. Oh my god. Now it looks like I have a full like head of curly hair. <laughs> oh no. Okay. What is this? This Tobermory. would be the Tobermory. Mm. Again, 46.3%. If you're not a Trendy and C patron by now, you never will be. <laughs> Wait. Well, you still can be, but like, <laughs> you're not allowed. You would, you would. No, you're, you it's would. too late. You're not allowed. Yeah, we'll use that technique. Yeah, like, no. Nope. No, sorry, That's it. we're sold out. We're uh, done. But you can get us on the black market for yeah. the price. You can go into the five dollar range only. Mm -hmm. We're gonna ban we're gonna block out the one dollar range. Okay, let's give something away. Um do you want to do something really good? Well, those three are all really good. Yeah, they are all really good. Let's do this one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so, this is a good one. This is the four mystery drams. So what happened? Two ounce bottles. The history behind this is that you could see it's already packaged and ready to ship. What happened was um, we, a few months back, we did a mystery dram, uh, dram club where we sent... Uh, well, mystery drams to people that they didn't know what they were and we asked them to taste them and then when we did our dram club we wanted us we wanted them to tell us what they thought of the drams mm. so they're all numbered all they got was a bottle with a number on it and, and that number corresponded with a whiskey yeah so these ones i there there's four mystery drams in there and they're only numbered so what you're going to have to do is when you win this, you're going to have to get back in touch with us and tell us what you thought of them, which one was your favorite, which one you liked, which yeah. one you didn't like, and then we will tell you what they are. And it would be very cool if you, uh, you know, put them in the order of how you liked them, like mm -hmm. your one, two, three, and four, what you think they are. Yeah. Like, so your even, predictions. you know what, some, you know, when things are blind, things are deceiving. Like you could have Chick one that's weird. actually like a bourbon, and it's you think you it's think a it's Canadian like a, a Canadian whiskey yeah. or something like that, or vice versa, whatever. But um, so yeah, let us know some details of what you think. So there's eight ounces of whiskey in uh, in this package. It's bubble wrapped. If any of them break, they're not replaceable because we don't know what they are. So um, no, we'll figure it out. Uh, but here we go. Let's see who the winner is. 140. 140. That sounds like something we've already done. Uh-oh, I hope not. Let's see here. Well, if they've won. Well, 130 was somebody, so. 140 is Lewis Wells. Okay, good. Lewis Wells. 140. 
A Dram Lewis Clubber Lewis Wells. Wells. Congratulations. So that's interesting because uh, Lewis participated in that Mystery Jam Challenge. Yeah. Dram Challenge. So, so this is like his second round. Which is second cool. crack at it. Lewis Wells, welcome to your Mystery Drams Part 2. <laughs> Four two-ounce bottles of mystery drams for Lewis Wells. That's nice. We've had a lot of different winners other than Amir cleaning yeah, up uh, early on in the competition. Congrats, Lewis. Should we give away something that we've... No, uh, Should we do another flavor wheel or oh, well, more coaster or something? How about a flavor wheel coaster combo? Oh, that's a that's a good one. There's a have all these two. Oh, that's... Those are ours. Yeah. Um... Uh, Whatever, we're just, we're, the, I'll find them later. Yeah. But you know where the flavor wheels are. Flavor wheel. Flavor wheel coaster combo pack. Grab a, a few of those and we'll. Maybe this will be a two coaster. Sure, sure. Oh, I, you're so I know cheap. I sound so cheap, but you know, like, hey, <laughs> how often do you use coasters anyways in life? <laughs> yeah, you don't really want these anyway. Okay, coaster flavor wheel combo pack. You'll have to write that down. Coaster flavor wheel combo pack. People are like, oh, please not me. Please not me. <laughs> Lewis Wells is like, oh no, I don't want to get eliminated on this. One fourteen is that not a number we've already done? Uh, yes, it is. Really? Yeah, John Who Harden. John Harden, you're out. So <laughs> you're done, John it. Harden, and a double winner. One fourteen. What did he win the first time? He won the book. Oh, okay. So I was going to say, good. did he already win coasters? <laughs> so he's getting a book, coasters, and a flavor wheel. Again, we're, we're saving on shipping. That's great. News. That is true. That's great <laughs> news for us. <laughs> okay. So, good. Flavor wheel, two coasters. Rad. Good job, and John. Book. So, John, you're out, bud. You <laughs> cannot win. Amir and but John. But this is the same guy we were saying, like, he's going to be like, oh, yeah, I'm still subscribed <laughs> to these guys. So, you cannot win the artisanal single malt, but that's okay. You know what we have still left to do that we can't forget about is the coin. Ah, we'll let's do that do, next. Let's do the pre-sale on the coin. Okay, so we, as we said before, we have these uh, number one. Batch one. Batch two. And we are... Um, we're waiting. I was really hoping to have the art back today, the, the, the artist's rendition of batch three. Uh, but it didn't come in, didn't come in today. So, so once we have that up or once we have that, we'll probably put a, like a picture of it on our training C page and we will be doing pre-orders. Yeah. Which we so, always do. Which we always do. So if you want the, uh, new batch. Oh, there's John Harden. Points, he's right there. Sweet. Okay, yes. Yeah. Okay. You've won twice, dude. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're interested in batch three, which is coming soon, we already paid, we already paid the deposit. So they're definitely coming now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we're just waiting for the artist's rendition, the artist's proof, I believe. That's that's right. <laughs> um, so, <sighs> okay, so that's what we'll do next. Yeah. We're gonna, we're gonna. Let's, are we? We're, you're done. Your total. I've right? finished. I've just crushed it real quick here. Mm. I'm gonna have to. Uh... Okay, can um, we ask you to follow somebody else on uh, Instagram? Um, the people that make our challenge coins are called Combat Bet. Mm. combat like the army or military or going into fighting combat bet bet so check them out they make challenge coins for all types of different industries but they do specialize in military police um and any kind of like uh, so since we're talking about that agency like that um the the basically the guys that started the whole challenge coin thing in the whiskey world were scotch test dummies yeah um so they're, they're currently on batch 300 of their yeah coins. so like you don't have to support them really <laughs> if you were gonna buy one of their coins buy ours but you can still go to instagram and look up scotch test dummies and uh follow them tell them training and c sent you but they started because i guess the whole idea is these things were uh like little tokens of appreciation from them yeah they're like little like kind of medals or yeah whatever so that's kind Awards. of like the idea behind it but of of course we've uh devalued it significantly by uh, making it about whiskey yeah and then bottle openers and just you know we kind of just selfishly made it about ourselves yeah okay so let's give away this uh this coin that pre-ordered coin pre that you don't even know what it's going to look like but <laughs> those ones turned out pretty good so so one thing though is that 
If you are um, a Dram Club member uh, or you are in the $10 coin holders level of Trenny and C's Patreon, you're already getting one for free, right? Like, well, not for free. You are, you, that's your level, so you get it. Uh, so as soon as they come in, we're just going to send them to you. You don't have to like buy them separately. They're coming. But if somebody at that level wins this, they're getting a second one, essentially. I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll see who wins it. So this is a pre-sale on batch three Trenny and C challenge coins. Okay. Here, here we, we go. go. Let's do it. Uh, survey says, and uh, Amir and John, you're 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 out. So here we go. Let's see. 276, the final person. Whoa, Who was that? 276. That's this that's the that's last number. That was the max level. The min and max was set at 276. That is Joshua Aspland. Joshua. Well, he long, probably gets one anyways. Uh, I don't know what. No, because he's the five dollar level. Oh, okay. Two, so, so that's a free coin. Joshua Aspland, longtime supporter of Trenny and C. Joshua Aspland. Congratulations. Uh, he's he's often on. I think Joshua actually was a Dram Club member back in the day. Um, but yeah, so Joshua, congratulations. Thank you for the support over the year or years. And uh, you are getting the pre-sale pre coin. That's the wrong That's name. fun. Asplund. That is, that is going to be fun. For you, <laughs> not as much us, but not still, us. That's gonna be one for fun. you when that's it comes fun. to you in like four months. Yeah, look forward to that. Like oh yeah, around we, Christmas. We, sh we should mention that the last time we did these bottle opener coins it took months. I think that was because the bottle opener coins were like die cast. You know, yeah. I mean, they're uh, they're poly alloys. They're zinc. way harder work for those people. Apparently, yeah, they so. were doing. <laughs> They were, those are some special coins, those uh, yeah. bottle openers. Um, okay, so we're down to only a Get rid mere of this. couple of prizes left. A mere? No, not him. <laughs> no. Uh, a mere, merely, I'm just making it more just confusing, a few. right? Yeah. Um, let's drink something then and let's make these people keep watching for a while. Okay, well, I'm really into the idea. We've had some scotch, we've had some bourbon, we've had some. Uh, I know what you're getting at. Uh, I know we've. You want some Canadian? Whiskey. I want some Canadian whiskey. Do you I want me to go to that up? shelf, or do you Maybe. want to get something from that shelf? Well, it's all of our stuff on that shelf is just so good. Like it's, I don't want to, I don't want to take it all, you know. Well, let's get something so good from the other shelf. Okay, yeah, you pick. You pick something so good. Um, because sometimes uh, I just Canadian whiskey, I just crave it. Would you want to try something not as good? <laughs> I'd love to try something not very good. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not that. It's oh, not, oh, okay. That's not, not bad. That that's it's not, not very good. That. It's uh, it's discontinued. Yeah, it's this just not exist anymore. It's not the highest level that we're used to. No. <laughs> okay. So this is the <coughs> Wiser's small batch, double barrel. They don't make it anymore. Um, but it was kind of their lower. It was middle. above the deluxe. It was like it was about thirty two dollars or something like that compared to like the twenty five of the. But it's not you know it's not Wiser's twenty three year old. That's no sure. no. But this was one of my first ventures into the Wiser's world was mm -hmm. the small batch, and uh, I guess it was actually small batch because they it's that old red it. W. Yeah, you know. Yeah, so. And I mean, compared to the new bottles, which in my mind just look so much cooler. Those are gorgeous. They they're the full square. You can stack them. You can pack them. You can <laughs> rack them. them. You can whatever you want. And crack them. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, okay. so see this. It's got this like corny. It's funny too because <laughs> these uh terrible jokes. <laughs> these wisers, uh. Yes. Uh, Dr. Don's worked for Wiser's for 20-ish years. 23 years. 23 years. Um, so this is still in that range where he was making the whiskey, but there, there's some of these older bottlings that you get now that are, don't even really have anything to do with it. I don't know that he's responsible for that recipe, though. Yeah, exactly. It might so not be his. That might be why they discontinued it. Mm. 
Okay, here we go. It's you know, pretty good. <laughs> it's good. There's still like that that uh, Wiser's vibe to it, you know? Yeah. It's, it's a little bit more, um, like, I don't want to say pumpkin spice, because that's not what I mean as a flavor, considering that's like a flavor now. Right. But it's like very much like about um, baking spices on the, on the palate. But like big booming like corn notes mm -hmm. to it, but like it's and it's got a, it's like on the heavy sweet side. Yeah, um, it's actually pretty nice. I don't, I'm not I like minding it, it at all. It's I like it, and it's bottled at 43 percent. Oh, 43.4 percent. It's one of those ones where uh, you put it away for a while and forget about it, and then you try it and you're like, oh, that was actually pretty good. Well, it's nice because it's like it gives you a bit of information on the bottle too, which. You know, Canadian whiskey didn't really during this mm. phase. Or, um, or go over 40%, really. Yeah, so it's 43.4%. It's um, double barrel. Aged in virgin oak, double barreled, so double maturation. I don't know what What's exactly. It, it says side? original strength, it says full flavored. Full flavored. Okay. But aged in virgin oak, and then it says double barreled. So, what is the purpose of that second barrel? Saying that it's full flavored is like calling it the toughest truck in its class. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> yeah, those imme immeasurable statistics. The most fully flavored like, in its how, class. How, how do you know? The new Dodge Ram. It's like getting like buying bottles of water and being like the, the this purest one has, water. It's the most. It's got the most H two O in the it. The most. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> highest levels of H two O. Okay. Let's move along. We have two prizes left. It's been a good night. Uh, we've only, well, we've almost been at this for an hour. Holy shit. Let's wrap it up. God, I can't believe you guys have been watching this for an hour. Okay. Um, okay, we'll do, do the Emily Mercedes. Emily Mercedes, the Pappy Collection. Uh, six bottles, just like our five bottles, except you get six. the right. <laughs> except <laughs> six. Holy shit. Oh, I got. Here, I'll hold it. I got. Nice. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Let's this see. Look at the beauty. Let's let's just go over the detail of this thing first. Like, look at. I, I can't see what I'm showing, but look it's at that. It's perfect. It's just so good. All right. Okay. <laughs> just trying to. Yeah. Yeah, this. yeah. You get the point. Okay. Here we go. And the winner is thirty-four. 34. Oh, a double digiter. Oh, this Back might down. be. Uh, this might be... Uh, this is somebody new. Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee. Brandon Lee. He's one in the past, I believe. May just be... Lee Mercedes. Wow. Happy line. Is up. Legacy a Wiser's? Yes. Sure is, but it's also it's been discontinued. Psycho. Yeah, also it, another delicious one. Wow. Really, really good. Why, why do you ask? Do you have one or something? I think... Or do you uh, I think... Uh, Chris Beaton was uh, Chris Beaton. Beaton's off. Always, Chris Beaton's always beaten off about his legacy collection. <laughs> guy, hey, we're still accepting samples though. <laughs> Malden Montreal. Brandon Lee died. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good. We don't have to send this out then. <laughs> the Crow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you mean the Crow? Oh, the Crow. Yeah. We are down. Look what we're down to. This is it, people. One the hour big grand finale prize. You sat through an hour of this crap just for this. There it is. Um, Leon Webb, the master distiller, there has been on the show before. If you haven't watched it, you can go back into the archives and uh, the archival footage and watch Trenny and C live streaming with Leon Webb. And uh, he talks about basically, I think we went through like four different bottles with him. We did, but the funny thing is, is like we, you know, he tried to talk about whiskey, but we were more excited about the the helicopter ride that you get as like a, yeah, we're a idiot. as a uh, when you go to that distillery, mm -hmm. you can get the special treatment and do the helicopter ride, and if you get lucky, I don't know like how they even choose helicopter riders. He said it was totally like at random, like if the owner feels like flying his helicopter up to the mountainside, you get to go for a drink. And I think I can't remember who we talked to, but somebody I think it was at Whiskey Fest said they got the full treatment and like went up to a yeah. mountainside and like had a dram of whiskey yeah. on the, on the cliffside. And Leon also sent us an autographed bottle. And I think Mo's Chun 
won an autographed bottle mm. from Leon Webb right. as well. We did do a giveaway. Didn't Gave, we? We've already given away one autograph. Well, Leon kind of gave it away. Yeah. This time we're giving it away. We oh, we should also <clears throat> mention. So go and follow on Instagram for the fifth person. Go and follow at Shelter Point, and you will find um, all the details about their distillery, and you'll see who Leon is and all that kind of jazz. And he's but, legitimately uh, Scottish, so it's like it makes it a little bit more legit. Yeah, he's a Scot in Canada yeah. making single malt whiskey in Canada that tastes like Scotch. Yeah, so it's great. So, but by the way, whoever wins this, if you haven't tried it before, um, this is the bottle style. Don't just pull on it. Is a glass like you think because it's a glass stopper. So all you actually do is you push it with your thumb to the side and it just pops out easy. So, but if you're trying to yank on it like we did for so when long, and when you're drunk and it's like sometimes it's like the wheel, the the whiskey kind of like encrusts the yeah, the it's like the seal. sugars kind of yeah. like get sticky or whatever. So all you do is you push it to the side. Yeah. Right. Okay. So what do you think? Are we giving this thing away? Let's do this. Let's okay. get away. Wow. Let's get away it's now. grand prize Grand time, finale people. time. Maybe we should drink a Shelter Point while hmm. we give away a Shelter Point. I like that idea. Oh, man. We're stalling on you guys again. Huh? Well, you got to stick around after these commercials. After these messages, we'll be right back. Did you do water up in there? I don't have any water. No. You're COVID. Oh, oh yeah. My I'm own. super COVID-y right <laughs> now. You have COVID. It's funny, like... We, the things that you pick up uh, from something like a global pandemic, like no more sharing like joints or sharing glasses or anything like that. Yet we're sitting like three feet apart, and so it's, did you explain that we have no cases? Anymore? We have no cases on Vancouver Island, and have not had any since I think March May eight. May May eighth. Yeah, so we're doing pretty good. But okay, we're still not. Uh, we're not playing fast and Which loose one do you here. want to try? We got the smoke point here, which is oh, delicious. The uh, double barrel. So our smoke point bottle that we have is from that first fill of the Lafroig barrels, and oh, it's a smoke let's do show. That. Let's do that. Smoke, smoke show, kid. So yeah, this is the smoke point shelter point. It's not this exact one, but uh, it just shows they put out a lot of really good stuff. Oh, maybe we should non-chill filtered, natural color always. This is 46%. This one we're going to try is 55%. Maybe we should be drinking this one that we're giving away. Let's drink this one first. And then this one. Okay, yeah. Let's drink this one first. Yeah, okay. Okay. Is it over there? Um, Do we have one open over there? Artisanal single. Double. No, that's a double. No, there's only two bottles here. No, no then I guess we're drinking the uh, smoke point. The other one's in one of these boxes boxed up. Oh, man. <laughs> it's okay. Let's smoke point it. We'll smoke point it. Okay, smoke point. Here we go. Smoke show. I like there that. you go. Show the label. Don't Advertise for poor Leon Webb and the, the poor folks that show <laughs> yeah, those in poor their folks. helicopter. Yeah, and the beautiful grounds there. Like it's just incredible. Just give me a splash. I'll just take a just a kiss. I don't want to get too smoked out early in the night. I'm gonna okay. save a little. I gotta save my palate for the real show. <laughs> yeah, we're doing which a couple me, videos after this. Which is me getting wasted on my patio. Yeah. So, really oh. big, like, it's not as peaty as I remember on the nose. It's really big and, like, kind of chocolatey and grainy. and But also it has, like... The, but there is a peat. The first thing I kind of picked up was this, like, almost sour apple kind of... Yeah, and, like, a little bit grainy. And then the smoke shows up. A little bit bready up. in a weird way. It's a little bit of, of everything. But this has been aged in ex Lafroig barrels. So that in itself is very cool. And then it's like all of a sudden, it's, all of a sudden, this one, um, after a minute in the glass, this one starts getting medicinal. Yeah. <clears throat> I remember that from last time that it, it was like it had this delayed response that it gets like it, suddenly medicinal. It starts kind of like, <laughs> like, a, what's that? Cereal, uh, Count Chocula. Okay, it's exactly like Count Chocula. It's like a little bit syrup or a little bit sugary, a little bit grainy. A and little then the bit milk kind of, gets to it, and then it gets drowned out with a milk, and, <laughs> and then it just becomes. But you're right, Nestle's the, quick. The uh, the medicinal notes kind of start to come out. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. good. 
Okay, let's try it. Again, this one's 55% alcohol, natural color, non-chill filtered. There we go. Mmm. A nice That's mineral. where the peat comes from. A nice mineral taste when it arrived for me. Yeah. <clears throat> that, I think the, the peat shows up a, more on the back end of the palate, like on the, the, uh, the finish. Nice sweetness, and there's like a... Mm. There's a, there's like a tang to it. Like the, on the back of my tongue, I'm getting this kind of like zesty, well, it's, zestiness. It's still like relatively young spirits, <clears throat> you know, um, because it works, it's relatively though. new to distillery, yeah. but it works especially well with peat. And I think as these spirits start to get older and older, they're going to be, you know, amazing. Okay. Well, that's, that's Yummertown. Swami's talking trash again. What's new? There's Tamara Vaughn. Hey, Tamara. Okay, let's give away this bottle then. Okay. So <clears> this <throat> is what we're giving away. Grand prize time. Shelter point. Thanks uh, for tuning art in. Artisan, artisanal single malt whiskey, 46%. Made in Canada. Made with sunshine and lollipops or something. Uh, yeah, like every Natural. bottle has an ingredient of sunshine and sea air. Wind or yeah. sea <laughs> air. Okay. Who is going to win a bottle of sunshine and sea air? God, I hope it's not Swami. I doubt he oh, He doesn't give us any money. He's not getting yeah, shit. Do. You're not getting shit, Swami. Here we go. 135. Okay. That sounds like that it's in the Lewis realm. Wells. Could be, which means he's getting extra tons of whiskey. Why? What, what did he already get? The mystery drams. Lewis Wells 135. He did get it. Oh wow. Lewis Wells got all the liquid gold tonight. Wow, he's the big Lewis Wells won a bottle already. Wow. He's, he's Lewis Wells. Up. Lewis Wells got the art bag. Did he? Yes. I'm not kidding you. Lewis Man, Wells this, won. You know who he You know, this is not rigged, so you know that, but <laughs> Because, like, we wouldn't do that. I wouldn't be advertising that if that was... Well, yeah. Here's the thing. You know who else did really well mm. uh, previously? Was Moe's Chun. Right. Moe's Chun won... Um, Swami, a $1... Oh, oh my you, gosh. Swami, you couldn't... Highlight that. Swami, you couldn't get 50 cents in there? Sw Swami, you should have become a patron, and then you could have been in the contest. By the way, scrolling, it's two fingers. So, you know. Oh, yeah. I know some other things that are two fingers. <laughs> um, wow, Lewis Wells, uh, he Again. won the freaking Ardbeg yeah. drum, and now he wins this. Okay, here's the cool thing about Lewis Wells winning. Lewis Wells lives in Kansas, oh, which wow. means there's no way in hell he would yeah. ever get to try this. Please tell me he's at least a $5 member. <laughs> Lewis Wells is a Dram Club member. Oh, yeah, right. He's Good. a $40 member. There we go. So, um... Uh, that's cool. Um, but yeah, we've had people that have done really well before. Like, um, Mose Chun won some he Emily Mercedes arts and yeah. he won a bottle. I think yeah. Dan Bova won a bottle and something else. Like, yeah, we've had people that are, no, who was it? There was, I think I actually have it on my uh, notes here from one time. Was it Joshua? Somebody won, um, Back to back, won the Emily Mercedes art or something like that. Oh, most Chun won the Long Branch. Long Branch. What the hell oh, are you talking about? Well, I don't know. I just have a note that says Mo's Chun Long Branch, and then Joseph. Oh, that was a sample. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was just a sample. Still. Mo's Chun has won a ton of shit, yeah. but he's not a patron anymore. Right. He won everything and then depatronized us. So he's now <laughs> patronizing. <laughs> he, left us. he left it wide open for everyone else. Oh my god. Anyway, um we'll hang around for a few more mon minutes just uh just to see what everybody's up to and then we got to make some real videos. Yeah, we're going to actually do some uh, real legit videos so coming work. up. We got to get to work after this. Come on. Phone just froze. Oh, there we go. There's work to be done. Um but this was fun. Thank you to all our patrons, everybody that stuck around to watch this. Um it was nice we did get a good um range of people range of winners there was actually there were three people that won two prizes yeah that's pretty pretty crazy really those people did very well 
or it just shows we don't have that many. <laughs> we need more patrons, <laughs> I think is what that means. So uh, if you want to win the prizes, because we got to find a new bottle to give away. Yeah. Something I, uh, else interesting. Something interesting. Something maybe like, mm. so when we gave away our Ardbeg drum, mm -hmm. that was like, we've kind of decided we want to give away like a really sought after bottle once yeah. per year kind of thing. Yeah. And then some maybe other interesting bottles throughout the year. So mm -hmm. kind of do it like quarterly. And, dep um, and depending on the guests too, if the guests will donate yeah, a bottle, absolutely. like Leon Webb donated a bottle. Um, Andreas Fostinelli from Bareface donated a bottle. Yeah. Uh, somebody got an autograph bottle from Andreas Fostinelli as well, mm. right? Mm. Maybe that's what Mo's Chun won. No, maybe he You know won. what Andreas Fostinelli gave us? He gave us a straight off the still bottle. 75% 75 alcohol. 75% alcohol. Oh no, sorry, straight off out of the barrel. Yeah, it wasn't off the still. Um yeah. and, and uncut. Probably but uncut, uncut, like uncut right off it. out of the barrel and no label or anything but in the bare face bottle and then signed. That's and then cool. he wrote on it with a like a jiffy marker with all, all the details. Yeah, very cool. So yeah, it's uh yeah, it's great. I mean, if we can get uh, more sponsors to give away more stuff, then it's just uh, everybody wins. Totally. But anyway, this was fun. Thanks for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Whether you're a patron or not, thanks for watching our crappy videos and uh, for subscribing. And, uh, you know. and do you know, if you guys don't know, um, in British Columbia here, we have a, a, our health official is Dr. Bonnie Henry. And she says, be kind, be calm, and be safe. So I think that's a go. good way to sign out for today. So thank you guys for joining us. We'll uh, talk to you soon. Cheers, fellas. And ladies. And ladies. The, the few ladies. <laughs> you mean Christine. Christine. Yeah. Cheers, Christine. <laughs>